Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to finally be getting back into a tying video. Uh, I did a little poll uh, a few weeks back where I asked what, uh, what the next fly you guys would want to see for the fly tying videos would be. And the simple baitist that was the rusty brown color actually won that poll, but uh, like I said, I've already done the tying video for that fly. Eventually I will do the rusty brown color fly. Um, as like its own separate video, but it's literally the exact same just you switch out the materials So what we're gonna do is the fly that got the second most votes was the copper paragon So I'm gonna do that tying video for you guys today And uh, I know a lot of people have been asking when you know when are we gonna get back into the tying videos a lot of people like those videos and uh, I mean not that I don't like making them for you guys, but they are a little time consuming uh, Especially I, I like putting them together all but like basically the same as all of my other ones and uh, to get all that b-roll and sort of do like the voiceover and stuff it it takes a while so um, but we'll, we'll be getting into more of those here in the summer I just figured I'd put one out for the time being there's gonna be a lot more fishing videos after you guys see this video and uh, stuff like that but I don't want to waste too much more time here we're gonna go ahead I want to show you guys the materials for this fly and then we will go ahead and get into tying it and don't forget to leave a like on this video and leave a comment below let me know what you think of the video after you watch it and any suggestions for future videos and let's go ahead and get into it all right so to start the materials list off for this fly for the thread we're gonna be using Vivas ADOT the color code for this thread is E03 and it's sort of like a rusty brown for the tail, we're using dark Coq de Leon fibers. For the body of this fly, I use copper or crystal flash from Perfect Hatch, but any copper, tinsel, or flash that you have will work just as well. For the wing case, I prefer to use black nail polish, but a black UV resin or black Sharpie can work also. The hook is an Orient Sun 5241 in size 18, and the bead is a 2.3 millimeter copper slotted tungsten bead. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into tying this fly. To start things off, go ahead and grab your hook and put it in the vise here upside down. And then go ahead and grab your bead and just slip that over the hook point. I like doing this just because it makes it a little easier to get those smaller beads on the hook. And then you can go ahead and rotate it around here and get it secured in your tying vise. At this point, if you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and get your thread ready on your bobbin. Once you have your thread situated on your bobbin, you can go ahead and start the thread here behind the bead and then work your way back to the halfway point and then you can come in with the scissors and cut off the tag. And once you have the tag snipped off, you can go ahead and work the rest of your thread back to the bend in the hook. Next, go ahead and grab one of your dark Coq de Leon feathers. And for size 18 flies, I like to pick off about three to four fibers, but it's all based on preference. I prefer my protagons to have a slim, narrow tail. And now that we have our Coq de Leon fibers, we're gonna go ahead and secure those to the hook shank here with a pinch wrap. And then just take a few light wraps and then you can come in with your fingers and adjust the fibers to your preferred length. Once they're at your preferred length, you can go ahead and wrap your thread all the way up to behind the bead. And then come in with your tying scissors and cut off the excess Coq de Leon. Next, you'll wanna go ahead and cut off one piece of crystal flash. Once we have our strand of crystal flash, we're going to go ahead and secure that here in behind the bead and just take a few wraps forward and what I like to do here is actually give the bobbin a counterclockwise spin. This helps flatten out the thread so that when we're creating the body, it keeps it nice and flat and then when we're wrapping that crystal flash up the body, it won't slide all over the place and it'll stay right next to the previous wrap. And just continue to work your thread slowly here, just creating a very slight taper. After creating the taper, you can go ahead and grab your crystal flash strand and just start making touching wraps up the body to behind the bead. Once you make it up behind the bead, go ahead and just grab your thread and just make a few wraps to tie off that crystal flash. Then once the crystal flash is secure, you can come in with your tying scissors and cut off the excess. Now go ahead and grab your whip finishing tool and we're going to do a very slow whip finish for all my Paragon flies where they have this little collar area. I like to do this part pretty slow compared to other flies 
just so the whip finish stays tight to the bead. In this instance you'll see what I was trying to avoid actually happen and the thread jump backwards. To fix this just grab your thread and carefully rotate it back around the hook shank the opposite way that you're tying and it should just pop right back into place. Then go ahead and snip off the excess thread with your scissors. Next we're going to grab our black nail polish to create the wing case and just create a small little bubble where the slot is on the bead. If I were tying multiple flies, at this point I would move on to the next fly so that the fingernail polish can dry, and so by the time that I got done tying all of the other flies, the first one that I started with would be dry at that point and ready for its UV coat. Once the fingernail polish has dried, we can go ahead and apply a nice even UV coat to the fly. I like to use Solar Res Bone Dry Resin, but any UV resin will do. Once you've fully covered the fly in UV resin, you can go ahead and get your UV light and cure the fly. I like to give my flies a 30 second shot of UV with a pretty powerful UV light. At the time of making this video, this fly is fairly new to my box still, but I've had some good feedback from people who have bought this fly from my Etsy shop, and I've actually also had some pretty good results using it as well, but I'd like to see what this fly can do over the course of say a year. So we'll see what it does over the next year, but I have a lot of faith in this fly basically because it's just a lot of my favorite color to use for trout, which is copper. I find that a lot of my other flies with copper beads tend to be all around good producers for trout. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people were looking forward to some more fly tying videos, and there will certainly be more to come. But that's it for now. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think of this pattern and if you'll be tying some up to use yourself. And until next time, peace.